football is represented by these two teams who meet for only the 10th time. Nebraska right now seated at number nine. Texas 22 in the nation. Bowl bids up for grabs. This is a vital game for both. When we come back, Nebraska, Texas. Now to John Terry. Nebraska chose to defer after winning the toss. And so Texas takes it over. There is Vince Young. We're going to see a couple of just great quarterbacks in this game. And since he's taken over the starting reins for the Longhorns, the last two games, the Longhorns have picked up nine touchdowns on a total of 13 drives. He makes this young. And his first start at home, and there's a good and bad in that. Young, who can carry the football. Up over the 23 yard line and uh, we get a flag on the very first play. And it is going to be against Texas holding. Principal Financial Group gives us an opportunity to take a look. Holding on the offense. 10 yard penalty. We pay first down. And what we're going to see for Texas as far as the offense is concerned. Now Roy Williams, one of the top four or five receivers in the country. Tremendous speed. He's a big play go-to guy outside. Benson is going to be their leading carrier in this game coming out of the backfield. It'll be a first down and a 20 with the ball spotted back at the 10 yard line. So immediately may have to go to the air. Brett Robin has come in in the tailback position. Going to look to the near side in the flats at about the 12 yard line. Not much gain there. Fabian Washington over on the defensive play. Let's take a look at the Texas offensive line. Some veterans, and they've gotten better with each game. Jonathan Scott watched Chris Sims blindside from the right tackle slot a year ago, moves over to the left side this season, and then Trevor Johnson up front. A very talented defensive end makes things happen behind the line of scrimmage. Nebraska defensive line will be asked to hold. Do not want to have any slashing running going on in this game if they can help it and force the passing game. Young uh, comes in in the tailback position a second down and 16 out of the shotgun it'll be carried going to see a lot of this today over the 20 the 25 coming to the 30 and first down territory. Baby in Washington finally able to get to him but that's what you can expect to see today from both quarterbacks. Well, let's take a look from behind Vince Young. He has every bit the running talent that Michael Vick had when Michael Vick showed up at Virginia Tech. Watch him make people miss. He's so deceptive. He's a long strider. Gary's six foot six, 225 pounds, and he makes defensive players look slow on the football field. That's a 17 yard gain and a first down. That is a very big play early in the game for Texas. They'll go with three wideouts. Texas has tried to open it up the last couple of weeks. Again, quarterback keeper coming to the near side. Vince Young up over the 40 yard line. He is truly amazing. Bullocks, Daniel Bullocks moved in on the tackle, and these linebackers are going to be busy for that reason today. Barrett Root, very athletic at the middle linebacker position and very opportunistic picking up turnovers. There you see the Nebraska secondary. They have to make some tackles today if this is the way Texas runs the football. And Josh Bullock's tied for the national lead in interceptions, and he will get plenty of first team All American consideration. Brett Robin comes back in in the tailback position. Young has earned this quarterback starting role based on how just how he has played. He came along a lot faster than anybody anticipated. Williams moves in to make the tackle. Robin on the carry. They'll be in and out. Benson 
Robin in that tailback position. Williams came up in a hurry to shut it down. A lot of people pointing to Vince Young's first start here as a as a barometer to his play, but he has gotten considerable quality time and gone up a cup up against a couple very quality defenses in Kansas State and Oklahoma. Young is averaging 8.3 yards a carry coming into this game. This will be a second down and eight. More wide receivers used by Texas in their sets last week than at any other game as Young becomes better at passing. Quarterback draw again. Can't find him near first down territory. And the third effort will get him there. He takes it down to about the 45 yard line of Nebraska. Until you see him do this, you can't believe how talented and how young he is. Well, he just jumped off the tape when you watched him against Oklahoma in the first half, and he's such a great combination of elusiveness and power. I mean, look at him run through defensive linemen to pick up the first down. Trevor Johnson finally got over there. He's already picked up 39 yards in three carries, and clearly Nebraska now is going to have to concentrate on trying to shut him down. And then we may see some of the aerial game. Two wide receivers to the left side looking out of that shotgun straight down the middle and that's incomplete. Two defenders very close and almost intercepted. That is Rude who moved in. Oh, keep a look down the middle of the field number 38 Barrett Rude and he is as good a middle linebacker jumping routes as you'll find in the country and very unusual for Barrett to drop that football. They have a plus 15 number one in the nation in turnovers. They're scoring defense second total defense third fifth and pass defense. Second down at 10 here the Nebraska 45 the difference has been their blitz package and they play a lot of zone defense behind little blitz here from the left side carried again by Young. Young took only 19 uh, snaps uh, in a uh, couple of games they try and get him out of there because he's so much like a running back that if you don't rest him he can get beat up well he is and, and, and a lot of the Texas fans and people in the community are saying why don't you run Vince more than you're than you're currently running him and and you know you, you talk to Greg Davis the offensive coordinator for Texas we want to make sure this kid can play an entire season and can play in the upcoming e years you can't let him take the licks time and time again that a defense is going to dish out passing situation here third down at seven again they work out of the shotgun had a flat open decided not to go there will carry himself again a lot of room to the 30 and there he goes down of the 29 yard line a 13 yard gain. The spread formations are opening some holes. Watch how effortlessly Vince Young gets rid of a lineman coming free. That was Lakeven Smith and Vince Young didn't even really pay attention to him. I mean just slipped him to the right. So effortless in his running style and and I mean this kid Gary has <laughs> Michael Vick written all over in the way he runs in the open field from the quarterback spot. Five carries 55 yards already picked up. They'll go straight ahead this time and a couple of yard gain. Not a lot of room there as it gets shut down. Selvin Young for Mac Brown. What's it going to take to get things done here today offensively. Well right now they're getting it done. Offensively we need to uh, stay on the field. We've got to make some rushing yards. We've got to be uh, really good on first down and third down so we keep their running game and their ability to pound you down defensively uh, on the sideline. Gary I'd say they're right on schedule. Well second down and nine here in the 28 of Nebraska. The other thing Nebraska has always loved to do control the football early on here it's Texas. That one's going to get batted down. Getting in in a hurry was Daniel Bullocks, the sophomore out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Strong safety. A strong safety blitz. The center of your screen. And as a quarterback, you got to find seams. And you know, Vince Young is running the football like a seasoned junior or senior. In the passing game, he's still coming along. And, and the Longhorns are in a transition. Chris Sims, Major Applewhite, great pocket passers. Now they've got quarterbacks, including Chance Mock, the second stringer, who can hurt you big time with their feet. Benson is back in. 
Nebraska there'll be a whistle before the snap and a timeout taken by Nebraska. They want to talk it over with a third down and nine situation. Big play in the game. Second one on this series. Where Texas will be tested. Five coming up. It is a third down and nine. Nebraska has given up only 29% of third down conversions to the opponents this year. Texas 40% effective. Four wideouts. First time we've seen that. Man in motion near side. And it's taken out of bounds. Just couldn't control it. Roy Williams. He's had at least one reception for the last 43 games now. Just couldn't get a handle on that. Well, and, and this is part of the transition we were talking about in the passing game. They're not a pocket passing team, so they'll go with some more short passing plays to the outside to Roy Williams to get his hands on the football. This is a bubble screen. And you almost hate to see with Vince Young, the way he was running the football on that drive, see him throw the ball outside quickly you'd like to see him have a run pass option because of the way he's run the football early against the Cornhusker. Dusty Magnum out of Mesquite Texas a 46 yard field goal attempt he is four for four so far this season. Long count. Magnum has it blocked and there's Nebraska. That is what they do best taken back at the 21 yard line to the 30. And up to about the 33. Demario Williams. 16 yard return. Nebraska defense again comes up big despite a strong Texas drive. A classic Nebraska football. They talked about their turnovers. And special teams very well drilled. And initial penetration. And Texas offensive line gave up penetration and deep penetration into the backfield. Credit Trevor Johnson getting in there to block. Now Lord goes to work. Carried off the right side to about the 40 yard line by Josh Davis a third year starter. Jamal Lord out of Bayonne New Jersey a senior. This is another quarterback who not only can pass the football but can and will carry it. Now we've talked a lot about Vince Young but Jamal Lord big physical runner. Very dangerous on the option. Nebraska wants to pound you inside with the power running game and then get to the perimeter with the option game. Control the football is what they like to do. There's the option they love to run. And that'll be taken out of bounds short of the first down. Lord again on the carry as Derek Johnson out of Waco, Texas, got over there to drive him out of bounds. There is the Nebraska backs and receivers unit brought to you by Principal Financial Group. Josh Davis is a classic eye back in the Nebraska mold. Short, choppy steps, and then he hits it north and south. Davis loves to carry. We were talking with the coaching staff yesterday, David, about that. Even on the option, if it's an alternative, he'll take the football and carry it himself. He's got a third down and three here. And that's what he was going to do right there. He'll be taken for a loss. And that's what Texas has got to do to stop this option. Michael Huff, the sophomore, strong safety, moved in. Well, to, disrupt, to disrupt this Nebraska option game, you need penetration. And sometimes you get penetration with the blitz. Strong safety blitz, Huff off the edge, and got a piece of lure. So a good first series for the Texas defense will force the Nebraska punt. Kyle Larson will be doing the punting. Nathan Vassar is back to receive. The punt's going to come from about the 25 yard line. See what Vasher has done on the return so far. Low snap. Didn't get it away cleanly. Up to midfield. It'll take a Nebraska bounce. And they lucked out on that one as it goes inside the 30 yard line. Roy Williams got in and got a hand on that to knock that punt away. So the two defenses rising to the occasion early here. Nebraska, low snap. Fortunate even to get this off. And then got the roll. ABC Sport, Austin, Texas, Capitol. And the Capitol building literally just outside of the Daryl Royal Texas Memorial Stadium. So Nebraska, their first offensive series was a three and out. Cedric Benson back to run off the far side and up to about the 30 yard line. As they go with that directional running by Benson out of Midland, Texas. He averages about 4.1 per carry. Taking a look back at the 
partial block of the punt. Lane Kelly is a snapper, and Kyle Larson can't quite feel the ball cleanly. Roy Williams comes in with the right hand and gets a piece of it. Mac Brown noted over the years for playing his best athletes on special teams, and it pays dividends on that play. Three wideouts here on this series. Vince Young, redshirt freshman. In the backfield, some running up the 35 40 yard line. Benson can go. Cedric Benson, 14 yard gain and a first down for Texas. That's that zone read play. Vince Young in the shotgun will read the strong side of the defense, the side of the defense where the run is scheduled to be taken by Cedric Benson. And if the defensive end on the other side comes down inside on the play, Vince Young will read it and keep the football. That time, dealt it off to Benson for a first down. Jason Glenn, the center, good blocking that time as they went to that left side. Two wideouts to the left side out of the shotgun. Again, the handoff. That one's red. Nebraska gets pretty good penetration. And there was no room to go there. T.J. Holland. Out of T.J. Hollowell, rather, out of uh, Copras Cove, Texas, got in there in a hurry on that one. Yeah, a lot of a lot of screaming going on up in Lincoln, Nebraska, a year ago. Seven and seven record. That's not going to get it done as far as Huskers fans are concerned. And the defense a year ago, a lot of gambling, man defense, blitzes. This year, they're playing much more conservatively in the secondary. Corners playing off, keeping a lid on the passing games of opposing offenses, but they're still going with the blitzes. Didn't like the look, and so a timeout's going to be taken here. Vince Young, Texas came out, took a look at Nebraska's defensive set, and decided they wanted to talk about it. So Texas will take the timeout. BCS rankings, Nebraska number nine, and Texas number 22 coming into this football game in Austin. And so far, it's been all Vince Young. And on the opening drive, a highlight reel in itself. A combination of elusiveness, power, and he has great vision. The defenses have to really be aware of his cutback ability in the open field. And Gary, one of the concerns for Texas coming into this game was the young quarterback, would he turn the ball over like he did in the first half against Oklahoma against this blitzing style of defense, Nebraska, the Huskers leading the nation in takeaways. And so far, Vince Young has taken care of the football. Looks very solid, very confident out there. We mentioned that there's a two-edged sword when you have your first start at home for a young quarterback. One, you get all the support. You get everybody here cheering for you, wanting you to do well. The other is, though, you're up. You want to do well. You want to put on a big show in your first start. And high, high expectations. But I think the, the game against Kansas State, which was here in Austin, and maybe more importantly, the big game atmosphere on the road against Oklahoma has settled him down and gotten him some big game experience that he needed. B.J. Johnson, Roy Williams, two receivers. There are four wideouts here. It's second and 11 on the Texas 43. Young back to throw. Short of the first down by about a yard. Sloan Thomas moved over the split end and got that one. Let's check in with John Saunders. First turnovers. That's what Nebraska has lived off this season. Boilermakers looking to atone for a very poor showing against the Michigan Wolverines. Third down and one. Young hands it off. It'll be more than one. Down inside the 40 and the entire Nebraska team on Cedric Benson, the junior tailback, a seven-yard gain. Now the right side of the Texas offensive line was unsettled. A real question mark coming into the 2003 year. A lot of experience on the left side, but now the right side of the offensive line is starting to gel. And we'll look at the push up front. Nice seam for Benson to pick his way through. And Cedric Benson finishes off short yardage situation runs as well as anybody in the Big 12. In Texas right now, some great blocking going on. They're getting it done. Matthews, a fullback, in there along with Benson as they go to the I formation behind Vince Young. Young will go to the second man through. Benson inside the up inside the 35-yard line. He's a horse. A lot of carries week after week for him. Seven-yard gain on that one. Mac Brown, we, we heard from him earlier, big part of the game plan, keep the football, move the chains. And so far, two sustained drives for the Longhorns. 
and doing a pretty darn good job of moving the ball on the ground against this Nebraska defensive front. Benson coming into this game at 122 carries, averaging just over four yards. Texas already up to 100 yards in offense in this game in the first quarter. That'll be carried right to the middle of the line by Matthews, maybe for a yard. The junior, 6'3, 250. Will Matthews running out of that fullback position. Now Nebraska trying to tighten it up. Another third down. Short yardage. Third down and one. See whether or not Young just tries to sneak this one through. It's a couple of tight ends. Scafe Thomas both in there. It'll be handed to the second man in the eye and that'll be enough for the first down. Benson again on the carry. Brandon Tamer the defensive tackle. Moved in and got him. Let's take a look at our Jeep rushing playbook. Short yardage situation. And we're going to take a look at David Thomas, the big tight end. He's going to work against Lornell McPherson, the cornerback, and the give to Cedric Betts. Solid block. And create some running room up front. Texas does a great job with their fullbacks and tight ends in motion to create blocking angles up front. The Texas rushing offense ranks 16th in the country. Their scoring offense is third. The keeper. A lot of room there for Young. And Young moves for another five yard gain to about the 24 yard line. For the Nebraska Cornhuskers defense, Gary, you talk about the load that they have to handle. The defensive backs and their pass game responsibilities, defensive front trying to handle Cedric Benson and then you've got the added threat of Vince Young running the football. I mean that is a lot to handle for a defense. It's a great matchup with this running game of Texas and the outstanding defense of Nebraska. The near side some room and it'll be up to around the 15 yard line again. Benson before he's driven out of bounds and it was rude to get over there to get him. Let's check in again with John Saunders. John teams putting up some points early. Two number teams here. Can't help but think Illinois. Ron Turner. Ron Turner may be in some trouble up in Champaign. Texas eight first downs. And they're keeping it on the ground. Benson inside the 10 and up to about the five. And the line in front of him really Trevor pushing Jackson. Nebraska. Trevor Johnson finally made the tackle. A low angle replay. The early running success for Vince Young at quarterback has loosened up this Nebraska defense. Will Allen leading on the blocking on that. That's right Gary and not only Will Allen but getting a tremendous push up front from his line mates. Great work by the heavies for Texas. See Nebraska 15 trips in eight touchdowns by the opponents against Nebraska. Again Benson is up to about the two yard line and the charge is on. Smith moved in the defensive tackle to get him. Has to be very frustrating for Bo Pelini defensive coordinator for Nebraska. I mean you're watching your defense here and Texas sustaining the ball on the ground and doing it at will. I mean, Cedric Benson facing second and third and short situations and picking up those short yardage situations with ease. Ball spotted at the three first and goal at the three Benson up to 51 yards and nine carries two wide outs to the left side one near side lone setback is Benson Benson in touchdown there's a flag. And it's going against Texas a legal motion. So for the moment at least that will cost them a touchdown on the three yard plunge by Benson. Illegal motion on the offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat first down. Be first and goal from the eight. It's tough to pick up. I, I watched all three wide receivers and the tailback before the snap of the football and they were fixed. It was a tight end on the left side. Got down in a three point stance and we might be able to get another shot of that but tight end moved early for Texas. This time it will be young going back 
into the shotgun first and goal at the eight yard line for Texas. Two wideouts on the left side fake to Benson Young's going to carry to the five. Just out of bounds before he got in inside the one Jonathan Scott the left tackle blocking in front of him and missed by a half a step. Now this is a smart play by Vince Young. It's a first down call and he's going to hold off on stretching the football diving for the pylon. He realizes that he's going out at the half yard line but he also realizes it's important to secure the football down near the goal line. You got second down coming up. Smart play by a young quarterback. Two backs second and goal at the one yard line. Texas with a man in motion second man through Benson do it again touchdown. That was a pretty impressive two offensive drives by Texas. Dusty Magnum will be going for the point after. He's got it up. Flag down. It was good, but there's a flag down. It's on Nebraska. Mangum puts it through 72 yards 14 plays 13 of those on the ground and Texas Benson goes in to give them the lead. He took it in for the touchdown and Texas has the seven nothing lead and they have kept the Nebraska defense on the field the one yard run he and Young putting up big rushing numbers. Richmond McGee will be kicking off Josh Davis will be the intended for Nebraska. It's been the Nebraska defensive blitz package that has created so much of the success but tough to blitz when a team controlling the ball on the ground against it. Set off to the near side and right at the goal line and in. Couldn't spot it much more than that. And it'll bring it out to the 20 for a first down. It was 1996. Senior Priest Holmes ran for three touchdowns, 120 yards rushing. Pivotal play, 248 remaining. James Brown faked the run, roll left. Derek Lewis, 61 yard gain. On ranked Texas knocked off number three Nebraska, 37 27, the first ever Big 12 championship. Time of possession becoming a big factor here early in the football game. Wow. Nebraska's used to having that the other way around. Jamal Lord, wide receiver set near side. They'll pitch it. And take it up to about the 24 yard line. Not a lot of room there for Josh Davis as Roderick Wright. And with the weather, pretty hot day as far as early November days go in college football. I think it's very important for Nebraska to put together a couple first downs here. And it, the Husker defensive union unit. Sucking wind a bit on the sidelines. Give him a rest. Josh Davis averaging about four and a half yards per carry. Carried on that first one, second and six. And now a timeout's going to be taken by Texas. So they didn't like their defensive alignment after what they saw. Lord will go over. See the timeouts remaining here as each team's had one. Want to remind football, the uh, Tex Xs who have been on Monday Night Football, some familiar names. Easily two of the top five running backs in the NFL today. Chase Holmes against Oakland and Ricky Williams. You see 23 rushes, 69 yards there on the 27th game. Now they've been awarded some great running backs here over the last nine, ten years. Hodges, Mitchell, of course Holmes and and Ricky, but uh, and Cedric Benson, not much of a drop off there either. And Mac Brown coming off two straight 11 win seasons here in Austin. A loss to Arkansas that ended their home streak in the second game played this year and then they lost to Oklahoma in a 65 13 shootout. And I'll, I'll 
And we'll look at that game. Texas really got behind the eight ball with the turnovers in the first half. Wasn't a game at halftime. Second down and six carried on the quick pitch near side up to about the 35 yard line. Lord can get rid of it when he needs to. Josh Davis on the carry and we'll check in again. Into Texas. This is going to be a first Nebraska first down. They picked up 10 on that carried wide. That's going to be back at the 30 yard line for the loss. Great work by the Texas D. They were blitzing a four yard loss on that play. They had that one covered wide. Exchange problem in the backfield or very nearly an exchange problem. And Michael Huff number seven the strong safety having him a great game early. Now this. Defense for Texas has great speed and I think Nebraska is going to have to test this defense inside between the tackles with the power running game soften the defense before you start trying the perimeter. It's also obvious Gary Texas is focusing on Jamal Lord. They want to make him pitch the football. He's going to hand off this time around far side Josh Davis again not a lot of running room. Texas doing a good job. They told us they want to string out this Nebraska offense Aaron Harris the sophomore middle linebacker over that time they want to use the sideline as the 12th D Texas does longer they can spread it out keep guys running east and west not north and south they'll be happy and Nebraska runs the classic belly option which is basically a quarterback running the ball on a sweep with a pitch man and the longer you can stretch it out to the sidelines the more you buy time for your speed to get there third and ten at the thirty four yard line Nebraska in their own territory looking downfield had four wide receivers a lot of room here Lord flag goes down Lord's back at the twenty and gets leveled. A 13 yard loss Mike Williams defensive end with some help. Well, Mike Williams had a huge day last week against Baylor. That's an illegal block below the waist might have been a chop block. And that came from trying to protect the quarterback. And taking another look from behind Jamal Lord looking downfield but this pocket collapses early. And now Lord trying to buy some time in a third and long situation trying to get creative. And how about the lick that Mike Williams lays on it? Only eight seconds left to go here in the first. Got the fans on to cool the players down. Sun comes out. It gets pretty darn warm here. Timeout will be taken. So they want to take advantage of that. Williams over to take a blow and talking about how they want to run this Nebraska fourth down and 23. Gary I think Mac Brown called a timeout here to create a, a situation where you can take advantage of the win. With only eight seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Brown wanting them to have to kick from this end Basher goes back he'll be standing back at about the 35 yard line punts going to come from about the five yard line for Kyle Larson you can bet Texas will be rushing here everybody up on that line Long snap Texas didn't move on it. Larson's kick line drive shot. Do you get a foot into that one. Look at this kick. It will go into the end zone. That's a break for Texas right there. An 80 yard punt. And no chance for a return. We've completed the first quarter. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message. And a word from our ABC stations. Texas up 7-0. How do you get the job to carry the big drum around on the field out there. I mean you talk about working before the game Big Bertha getting <laughs> hauled around out there by those guys. They were working out. You got to be the big man on <laughs> campus to carry that baby. Gary Thorne David Norrie great to have you with us here for this spectacular matchup of Nebraska Texas these long storied traditions of football Texas has the first and ten to start the second quarter. Up to the 20 and about the 22 yard line. Selvin Young out of Houston. 
And now you see the rotating quarterbacks for Texas coming into effect here. As for this series, Chance Mock, the junior, is in. And we talked to Mac Brown about Chance Mock. He says, hey, he'd be starting anywhere else in the country. Of course, he started the first six games here for Texas, number six in the country in passing efficiency. And since he got demoted to second string in the last two games, when he has come in the game, and he comes in every second or third possession, and he's completing over 70% of his passes. He's the passer of the two, the better of the two, and there you see it in effect right there, completed on the near side. So now you get one quarterback who comes out and run it. You get Thomas on the reception from Mock. That's what Nebraska's got to deal with. Hey, looking at the first quarter stats, the wrap on this Texas Longhorn team this year, they're soft. Offensively up front running the football at times, defensively, but those numbers indicate otherwise. This Very is impressive. Of, this is one of the story programs in Nebraska when you talk physical football. Lock in four wide receivers. Two on each side. It is a first down at 10 at the 35 yard line. Texas at their own 35. Mock likes to drop. Everybody out. He's got a little room far side. Goes down the middle. And a reception will take it into Nebraska territory. P.J. Johnson out of Grand Prairie. 20 receptions, three touchdowns coming into the game, 23-yard game. Well, when Mock springs to the outside, a lot of coaches in college football would say, hey, you got the first down, pick it up. But Mock is a, a pretty special passer. He has tremendous confidence in his throwing ability, both from the pocket and on the move. And just a nice job of taking a little bit off that throw, Gary. Beautiful throw down the center of the field to B.J. Johnson. Mock coming in 75 out of 129 58 percent 14 touchdown passes thrown by Mock. Double in the backfield two wide receivers near side he likes to step and throw he's going for the end zone inside the five at the goal line it'll be incomplete. Ran him deep good coverage by Fabian Washington again it was B.J. Johnson the intended receiver as Mock airs it out. And Mock took a shot there and not much room. Fabian Washington, one of the best cover corners, not only in the Big 12, but in the country. And as a quarterback, even with the speed of a B.J. Johnson or Roy Williams on the other side, you want to give your talented guys outside a chance to make the big plays. On that play, Chance Mock should have come down underneath. Looks like a different team. I mean, this when you bring Texas's other quarterback in, instead of Young running the football, you, here you bring Mock in, and it looks like you've gone to a, the pro pass. Yeah, and you take great advantage of the three talented seniors outside. He'll come near side. They reverse it the other way. There's going to be no room on the far side. Salvin Young, the sophomore tailback, had nowhere to go as Ryan Bingham get in there and a loss of five on that carry. This is where the warning light comes on for the Texas offense. You're in a great situation for Nebraska's defense to spring the blitz package and also to look for a turnover. Vince Young sitting out this series three for five passing 68 yards and seven rushes. Young is earning his way into the number one spot maybe for the end of this year certainly for the future for Texas. It'll be a third down and 15 they'll work out of the shotgun two wide receivers to the near wide side. Mock's going to be under pressure to the sideline and has nobody down there as he just gets rid of it. And let's check in with John Saunders. John's updated on games going on on this survival Saturday. Richmond McGee is back to do the putting. Josh Davis, the lone back for Nebraska. Plenty of time. Kicked into the middle. Going to let it bounce. And just into the end zone. Good effort to try and knock that away, but not quite. A 47-yard punt it ends up being. Despite the effort by Aaron Ross to get back there and knock that thing away. Thousand Nebraska faithful on hand to their football program that goes back to 1890. 83,308 on hand, the eighth largest in stadium history for this matchup. Nebraska back on the attack, looking deep at the 15, got to reverse it. Lord's got some running room up to the 20. The 25 and will be shy of the first down. And a little unhappy with the hit that took place over there along the Nebraska bench. 
Take a look now at our Pacific Life game summary. A couple big plays in the special teams early. Trevor Johnson getting a piece of Mangum's attempted field goal. And then Kyle Larson can't quite get this off. Roy Williams gets a piece of it. Vince Young, some tremendous running to set up Cedric Benson's touchdown. So far, that's the difference, Gary. Benson taking it in for the TD. That'll be his 11th rushing. A personal foul is called here against Texas on Cedric Griffin, the cornerback, for the activity that took place over there outside the line. I'll tell you what, Jamal Lord had Matt Harry in his tight end, number 11, wide open down the middle of the field. Let's take a look at the end of the run. And that's Cedric Griffin just giving him a little bit of a left, left hand shove, little love tap there. Sometimes it gets called, sometimes it gets called, sometimes it doesn't. David Horn play. in in the eye back. Carried up close to midfield as they're going to try and get something done on the ground. And we'll check in again with John Saunders. Yes, standings. Here we've got a second down and uh, five. Spotted just shy of midfield at the 49. Two running backs out of the shotgun. Lord going to be taken for a loss. Loss of three on that one. That's what Texas is going to try and do. Key on him and not let him get wide. Now, Texas has done a great job with penetration into the backfield. And part of the problem with Texas and giving up yards over the course of the season defensively, they haven't been tackling well. Mike Williams has emerged on this football team. Had a huge game last week against Baylor. Three sacks. Lord has now rushed five times for a minus eight. He's back in the pocket. It's knocked out of his hands. Nebraska will get it back. Well, that's a little bit of Nebraska defense right there, reaching in for the football. Incognito. Nebraska not happy with that as he rec Cognito recovered it. But look at the pressure. And Marcus Tubbs, the big defensive tackle, number 95, lost his helmet at the snap of the football. Take a look from the end zone camera. The play action fake, and here he is right here. No helmet. He lost it early. And he stayed <laughs> after the quarterback. I mean, that's an aggressive play by a big defensive tackle. Kyle Larson standing back at his own 25. For the punt. Texas has done it again defensively. And that will be taken at the 14-yard line. Up to the 30. That with the carry, Nathan Vassner, good return, gives him a little room to work out of. First and 10 coming up, 47 yard punt, 15 yard return. Our AFLAC trivia question this week. You're not going to believe this one. The heaviest living mascot in college football. <laughs> Is it Mike the Tiger LSU, Bevo, Texas, Ralphie at Colorado, or Traveler at USC? We'll give you the answer a little later. It's the heaviest, and no, we're talking living, living college mascot. Gary, I have no idea on that one, but I do know that's a lot of beef. Bevo's here, so if we need to get away in, we can at least do it with Bevo. He looks like he's just mildly interested in the game at this point. <laughs> Wants to see some more points. No, no, he disagreed. See, you're just tired. No, no. He says, hey, I'm interested. Longhorns have the lead. I'm plenty interested. I'm in this game. All right, first down at 10. Texas at their own 19 yard line. Now Young has come back in to play quarterback. Chance Mock ran that one series. That's what they've been doing. And the handoff, no, faked. He'll take it wide. Young at the 20. Trying to get the turn, a little blocking. He'll get it up over the 25 yard line as he strung it out. And that's some good blocking, an eight-yard gain before Rude could get over there with T.J. Hollowell to get him out of bounds. Boy, Vince Young can make up for mistakes. Texas a blocking infraction on the return. They start with tough field position. And a first down run by number 10 gets them out of the shadow of their own goalpost. It looks like sometimes it's developing so slowly, but it's because he reads so well. He waits for things to happen in front of him, never forces the action. Benson is back in as the lone running back. Benson on the carry. And boy, he can get away. He dodges about three tackles there to take it up to about the 34-yard line for a gain of seven and a first down. What a cut in the backfield to make Barrett Rude, the big middle linebacker, miss. See if we can get a look from the side here. 
Middle linebacker blitz and watch the cut. Comes to a stop with both feet and just loses Barrett. Mm. He is uh, he is going to be a very solid back in the NFL. He's the type of guy I think you could hand the ball to him 25 30 carries a game. Very durable great short yardage guy as well. He had 32 carries last week. Texas now up to 186 total yards. There's the quick pitch to him off the near side covered pretty well. We had about the 40 yard line a gain of six Johnson in on the tackle we'll check in again now everybody's talking about Jason White but Eli doesn't have the people around him as we also take a look at the offensive production and quite a contrast a real contrast Texas also had that great possession that's an up line of scrimmage and that's about as far as that one's going to go you notice how they've used that slashing running game and then have come off that the other way with the fake and have young carry. Coming up, it'll be our Capital One halftime show. John Terry and Greg will be breaking down the Survival Saturday biggest games, and the governor of Oklahoma will be along to explain the Bedlam brawl. And as you mentioned in the running game, the, the, the slashing inside runs by Benson and then the perimeter runs by Young. It's by design. They sit in the shotgun, the zone read, and Young really doing a great job of piloting this offense in the first half shotgun third and four from their own 40 and Nebraska blocks it and intercepts it at midfield and Nebraska takes over Titus Adams out of Omaha the 6 3 sophomore it got blocked by Demario Williams who's a Butka semifinalist and this is Nebraska's story all year the Nebraska defense is what sets up their offense and they came into the game leading the country 32 takeaways and you put Texas and a young quarterback Vince Young in an obvious passing situation and you take them out of the comfort zone good play up front defensive line and getting their hands up on the quick throwing game and a nice play on the interception first turnover Nebraska gets it they're going to look deep Lord goes down the near sideline that one will be incomplete he's going for the first down on the short side so Nebraska continues to be the nation's leader in turnovers plus minus you see the takeaways 18 interceptions they came into this year and I think Bo Pelini the defensive coordinator along with Frank Solich said we are not going to play man to man. We've got a couple very talented corners but we're going to play zone behind the blitz package not take as many risks and keep our eyes towards the towards the passer. It's turned out to create a lot of interceptions. Jamal Lord gets into Texas territory just barely for the first time in this football game. Aaron Harris came over along with Vasher the left cornerback to put the hit on. And Nathan Vasher is one of the premier cornerbacks in the Big 12 conference really the featured cornerback for Texas and you know, the, the tackling has really picked up in the secondary for Texas it was a weakness earlier this year but they are tackling well this afternoon against Nebraska the Texas young ends an inexperienced secondary expected to be tested by Nebraska in running that option it'll be a third down and nine from midfield back again Lord steps up looking deep goes deep man open at the 20 15 10 before the tackle is made good long gain right there that's the receiver Matt Herring that you were talking about earlier he's a favorite target for Lord a 42 yard gain watch the patience in the pocket Lord's going to reload a couple times here flag route by Matt Herring and he was working against Reed Boyd. That's a mismatch. <laughs> Talking to the Texas defensive coaches yesterday, and Harrion from the tight end position is really their big play threat in the passing game. And they made the comment, I think Jamal Lord and Harrion are roommates because he looks to number 11. Good play by Harrion. First down at 10. Obviously, deepest penetration there's been for Nebraska. Judd Davies carries the ball up to about the five yard line. On a first and goal for Nebraska with Texas up 7 nothing. So Nebraska using the passing game. They are 115th in the country in passing. Well, they don't do much of it. Yeah, that running the football is what Nebraska is all about. But that was a beautiful job by Lord. Showed great passing ability to fit that ball in along the sideline. Davies and Horn in the eye. Maybe a change here at the line. Second down and goal from the five. 
Lord making sure his lineman knew what was coming. What was coming was him. No wonder he wanted him to know. And he gets up maybe inside the four. Boy, they, they are overplaying Jamal Lord. They want to make sure that he catches the football. And then no secret with the Texas defense and their coaches. Jamal Lord is the key. And he is gaining a lot of focus from this Texas defensive front as well as the linebacking core. And Texas has done a great job of taking him out of this football game, at least his running ability early. Big play, third down and four. Third and goal from the four yard line. Lord looking left side, loops one towards the corner, incomplete. Had no receiver remotely close to the ball that time, kind of overthrew it. He was looking for Davies, who was kind of cutting out there on the left side. Uh, Davies was wide open, and Jamal Lord has to get this ball up early. He has a touchdown. And Jamal Lord held on to the ball for a couple counts, and then he made a very poor throw. Look at Davies slip out wide open into the flat. You got to get that ball up early. Granted, Jamal Lord faced some late pressure in the pocket, but you got to get that football up before the pressure arrives. A 21 yard field goal attempt here. David Dykes, these defenses just aren't going to let it happen. So Texas rises to the occasion. Nebraska could not convert on the third, and they do not get the field goal. Let's Robson go up. Got a hand on it. Texas remains on top 7 nothing. And a penalty call <laughs> in blocking that kick. He got the arm up. Look at the special teams. You talk about selling out to block a field goal. Watch Robeson go up, freeze it right here. And look at him lay out right there. I mean, that is great extension. And selling out your body for the Texas football program. What a play by Robinson. Oh, he makes the defensive play. Nebraska gets nothing out of it after a good drive, and now Texas takes over. They will have a first and 10 at their own 20, and rolling out and looking. 35, and it'll be a first down. Scaife, Bo Scaife, tight end on the reception. ABC Sports presentation of college football is brought to you by Hummer. Check out the H2 at Hummer.com. Hummer like nothing else. Miller High Life to live simply, proudly, boldly, manly. This is the High Life. And Aflac, ask about it at work. Hook 'em horns. That's where we are, Austin. The home of these Texas Longhorns. They right now have the 7 0 lead in this game. A first down at 10 with the ball at the 35 yard line. Fake carry. Young. 40. Midfield. Nobody out there to get him. Turn it on. And Young. Touchdown. Credit Roy Williams with a key block for these Texas ends who look to have a big year receiving. They've had to do more of this blocking, unselfishly so. 65 yards. No wonder Texas is buzzing about this redshirted freshman quarterback. Vince Young made a tremendous read on the zone read play. His key was Bernard Thomas. And I'll tell you what, the speed was unbelievable. Watch, he's going to read Bernard Thomas here. If he gets inside, Young's going to keep the football and take it on the perimeter. He reads Thomas, Thomas bites, and then it's off to the races. And Josh Bullock's from the left of your screen is going to try to run him down. At this level, nobody runs down Vince Young. 65 yard touchdown nine rushes now 141 yards for young it's his ninth rushing touchdown keep in mind he wasn't even the starting quarterback and really till three games ago pretty amazing amazing running talent I mean just eye popping talent running the football man is back for the extra point 
Texas crowd hushes for him, and he puts it through. And the attack continues. Led by their young quarterback, Texas on top, 14 0. On top, little excess celebration is going to cost them a 15 yard penalty on the kick. Two plays, 80 yards, 42 seconds. That's pretty efficient. Well, McGee looks like he may be setting up for a <laughs> sort of onside kick here. With a 15 yard <laughs> penalty, he's back at the 20 yard line. The way he angles that football looks like he's setting up for a onside kick and of course they're going to kick it deep but Josh Davis is deep for Nebraska a chance for good field position here for Nebraska and a chance for a run back as well in light of the penalty Davis good kick bobbled at the 12 that's going to cost him he won't get to the 20 Aaron Ross Handled cleanly, might have had some yardage, but not when it got bobbled. Well, our Aflac trivia question, the heaviest living mascot, the Tiger, Bevo here, Ralphie at Colorado, or Traveler at USC, which do you think's the heaviest? I thought Bevo. Yeah, he's he's close to a ton. Oh! <laughs> I thought Ralphie might have been pretty heavy, but he's nowhere near Bebo's league when it comes to sheer beef. Ralphie, 700 pounds. That's going to be carried up over the 20 to about the 23 yard line. Jamal Lord it may have been a broken play or may have just been trying to put it back. Well, congratulations, of course, to Bebo wins again. Uh, Bebo is the happiest, but I think the key there is you don't want to get hit by any of those masks. No. Absolutely not. Bevo enjoying a little adult libation there. <laughs> Personal sip cup. <laughs> It'll be a second down and four. Ball spotted at the 24 yard line. Nebraska man in motion held by Lord on the pitch. That's what Texas wants to spring out. They went to the short side with it and Reed Boyd, the strong side linebacker, was right there. It'll be a loss of six. The perimeter run game for Nebraska has been absolutely shut off. Great pursuit by linebackers, secondary players, and I, I think Texas is showing a disregard for the passing game threat down the field. And Nebraska, Frank Solich, they better start helping Texas to a, a healthier dose of passing down the field, trying to spring their tight ends and wide receivers, because this Longhorn defense is using numbers against the run. And getting it done, it'll bring up another third. Third down and 10, and another timeout taken here by Nebraska. Immediately, Jamal Lord came out, took one look, said need to talk about this. We'll come back with their third down play. One of the big pluses for Nebraska this year, they have started on average at about their own 42-yard line. Today, their 28-yard 28, 28 line. Vince, Big difference. Vince Young at quarterback combined with a great effort from this Texas defense has produced those numbers. This is a third down and a 10. Wide receiver near side. Jamal Lord back off balance. Throw is caught. Flag is down behind the play. Matt Harrion again somehow hauling that in on the sideline but it looks like the football is coming back. That was a heck of a sliding catch if Harry and did secure it. I'd like to take another look at that. I don't think he's going to be able to on the offense half the distance to go repeat third down. Break for Texas. Now, Jamal Lord loves to look to Harry and number 11 is tight end leads to the outside and that's not a catch. I mean, his feet are sliding. That right looks like that right knee and that right leg is out of bounds before he secures the football. Throw from the pocket, and once again, Lord facing heavy heat. First penalty called on Nebraska. Third down and 18 with the ball at the 10 yard line. And they're just going to try and run it out of there. About the 13 yard line, the ball was lost, held on to. Derek Johnson tripped him up, caused the fumble. Texas. 
Derek Johnson, preseason All-American. The best athletes at the outside linebacking position you'll see across the country and recognize that play. Great job coming up and making the hit. And Richie Incognito, the left tackle for Nebraska, alertly covering that football. Could have been disastrous for the Cornhuskers. Larson's got a kick from his own end zone. Vassar is back. Rush put on. Got his foot into that one. We've seen some punts here today and out of bounds. Couldn't stay in bounds. Ball was caught over there at about the 33 yard line. There'll be no return on that one. Texas with a 14 0 lead. Hard punt. Texas will take over. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. Mock is back in at quarterback. And that'll be incomplete on the far side. Bring up a second down and 10. Chance Mock back in. Tomorrow, if VJ Singh can pull out a win at the Chrysler Jet for Texas, second down and 10. Chance Mock, the junior, 6'2, 215 pounder, sharing duties with Vince Young. He works out of the shotgun. Mock coming near side. Little comebacker, and that's going to be incomplete. And in, attended for Thomas. Sloan Thomas. But Mock threw that one short, and it'll be third and 10. And Mock has to be very disappointed in his play on that second down attempt. And you know, he's a talented thrower, comes outside. He wants to make the most of each possession. He only gets to come in the game every third possession, has Sloan Thomas wide open and skips it on the turf. Two for six for 36 yards here in the first half. Mock again will be working out of the shotgun. Pass defense out for Nebraska. Wide receivers near side two. Another comeback, and that one's going to be overthrown. Incomplete. Roy Williams, the intended receiver. It has got to be tough. David, you're a former quarterback. For Mark to come in these kinds of situations and then try and play like he's playing the whole game. Well, he's played well the last two games as a, as a sub for Vince Young and hitting over 70 percent of his passes and, and he's ranked in the top 10 in the country in passing efficiency but those last two plays misfires and, and he had Roy Williams open on third down overshot it. The kick by McGee will be handled. At the 24 a flag goes down. Ooh. And there's some banging going on out there. Ross picks up that football it was a 50 yard punt. You take a look at the hitting that went on just as that ball was being received. Mac Brown has to be thrilled with the efforts of all facets of the Texas football team in this game including special teams. Well they're saying no flag. Well, it'll just be a first down and ten. The Cornhuskers and the Longhorns. Gary Thorne, David Norrie with you here in Austin. A couple of TDs set up by Young. This drive, Benson capped it off with a three yarder. And then the explosiveness of Vince Young. Vince Young, we talked about it at the top. I mean, a real treat to watch this guy in action. 65 yard run there. Nebraska on the first and 10. A lot of room there. Carried up to about the 30 yard line. Nebraska's Jamal Lord didn't have anyone to go to, so the Bayonne, New Jersey native took it out himself. Prior to that first down play, you know, outside of the 42 yard hookup to Harry and Nebraska had run 20 plays for a total of 13 yards. Hurry up offense. That one's going to be incomplete. He's trying to swing one out into the far side. Tim Crowder left defensive end, got over there and got the arm up on that play. Nebraska wants to get back in this football game. They're going to have to start throwing the ball on first and second down situations. And Texas knows right here it's a throwing situation. 14 nothing lead and Nebraska coming down trying to pick up points. But when the third quarter of this game gets underway, Jamal Lord is going to have to make some yards down the field to his tight ends and wide receivers in the passing game in obvious running down. He's only one for four, 42 yards for Lord. And the carry is going to go nowhere. And right now the Texas D is just dominating play out here. Crowder again moved over to put the hit on. There's, there's nowhere to go. 
one for seven on third down opportunities for Nebraska in the ball game. They get another one here. Time running out with a minute 12 left to go. Texas wants to ensure some field position and time with the football again. Nebraska's out of timeouts. They don't want to stop the clock right now, but Texas does. And the ball at the 31 yard line. Mac Brown is getting tremendous enthusiasm, pursuit out of his defense, numbers getting to the ball, and great effort as far as tackling is concerned from the Longhorns in the first half. They're dominating all three facets of the game here in the first half. Larson will be kicking. Vassar is back for Texas. Vassar back at his own 25 yard line. And there's time for Texas to do more damage here in this first half. If they can get a decent run back here in good field position. They use the timeout to give themselves that opportunity. What's Nebraska got to do to get back into this into this football game? Well, they better start winning the, the battle in the trenches. And like I said, they're they're not going to be able to get it done with the with the mix of run that they're springing at Texas. They're going to have to start moving the ball through the air in the second half. Punt will come from the 15. Good kick. Taken at the 21. Passes up to the 35 and about the 37 yard line. So Texas will take over. 50 on one yard punt, 16 yard return. It was 1998. Ricky Williams, Heisman Trophy winner, 37 rushes, 150 yards. Major Applewhite in this game would find Wayne McGarity. Two yard TD pass, 247 remaining. Texas stopped Nebraska 2016 in Lincoln back in 98. It's interesting, Gary, matchups in college football. So much has been made of Texas's inability to win against Oklahoma the last three years. Well, on the other side of the coin, Texas has had great success against Nebraska. The Longhorns have won four out of the last five against Frank Solich. And when you go back to last year, the biggest crowd in Memorial Stadium history up in Lincoln. Texas behind Chris Sims. Chance Mock is in at quarterback. Nebraska just got out there 11 players. That'll be out of bounds. Thomas on the near side. Sloan Thomas, the senior, split in. As Texas will try and get some yardage here with Mock, the throwing quarterback in there. The second down and about one. And the ball spotted at the 46 yard line. Very interesting. They're giving Vince Young a bit of a blow here. Late in the first half. Chance Mock working out of that shotgun. Good protection as they move that pocket. And that will be caught. Fine catch by BJ Johnson. Went up and hauled that in, and now they're in scoring position. BJ Johnson turning that post corner route to the outside, just gets the left foot in bounds. And how about the throw on the move from Chance Mock? And Mock is in the game in this situation as we look at the comparison. Mock is in the game in this situation because of the clock drive and moving the ball through the air. Goes towards the end zone. That one will be overthrown, and that will stop the clock. Johnson again was the intended receiver. And now Texas will get time to think about it, stopping the clock with 45 seconds left to go. But Texas love to tack on another one here. Taking a look again at the comparison, and Mock not quite with the numbers we've been accustomed to see in the last couple games and look at the rush yards here. Vince Young is a very special threat for this Texas offense. Second down and 10 ball at the 33. Again out of the shotgun. Three wide receivers two to the near side Mock looking short side wants to use that sideline fumbled and Nebraska going after it. May no they did not get it. Close Fabian Washington move over to put the hit on to free that football up for Nebraska. Watch the aggressive play of Fabian Washington. First he secures the tackle and then he goes for the football. Tony Jeffrey had the football ended up going out of bounds on the fumble though. Jeffrey lucky to get that football back and a critical mistake for Texas Jeffrey inside the 30 yard line and well within Mangum's range. Now Chance Mock in a situation where he needs to pick up positive yards to get back in field goal. Run. Third and 13 loss of three on that play Mock will come to the near side a lot of running room chooses to go deep into the end zone intercepted. Picked off by Lornell McPherson who comes in on that nickel 
the Omaha Nebraska native and again the Nebraska defense creates the turnover under throw by Chance Mock Chance Mock makes a good throwing decision and Sloan Thomas breaks by McPherson the ball is underthrown. If Chance if Chance Mock leads Sloan Thomas to the back of the end zone that's a touchdown. Thomas a nice job of slipping both defensive backs and creating separation and Mock wants that one back. Comes with 30 seconds left to go here in the first half. Nebraska will take over. It'll be at the one yard line. A couple of interceptions off Mock this year. And it's surprising because Mock has a big arm and you don't expect him to underthrow that ball. He's got plenty of arm strength. Well, Nebraska is trying not to give up a safety here. Just lunge ahead, Lord. That'll keep the clock running. Derek Johnson going over the top. Got toppled in the backfield. <laughs> <laughs> he was airborne on that one. Frank Solich is going to have to take Nebraska in and figure out one how they get their offense going and two what they do to shut down a Texas team that has dominated. We'll return the Capital One halftime show after this message and a word from our ABC stations at the half. Texas 14 and Nebraska nothing. Attempts they've made on the ground. They've got a grand total of 20 rushing yards. Nebraska has to do two things if they want to get back in this football game. They've got to reestablish the line of scrimmage, but to loosen things up, I think Jamal Lord has to get the ball downfield. He's missed a couple opportunities to his big tight end, Matt Harrion. They've got to hit some balls down the field, penalize Texas for the defiant way that Texas is bringing men up on the line of scrimmage. Got to find a way to get their offense on the field, too, because right now Texas has gotten it done. Take a look. First half. Block field goal by Trevor Johnson. And then Cedric Benson cashes in on the first touchdown. A tremendous drive led by Mike Young. The Huskers get turned away on their only serious scoring threat on the block field goal. And then Mike Young, then Vince Young just breezing down the sideline 65 yards. What a first half for Vince Young. Pacific Life game summary as we begin the second half. Nebraska will be receiving, taken in the end zone. They'll start at their own 20 yard line. Here's our Pacific Life game summary in that first half dominated. Take a look at the yardage rushing 208 to 20, passing yardage, the total yards. It's all Texas in time of possession, also Texas. And even more extreme than that, really, because they scored one of their touchdowns in just a couple of plays in a matter of seconds. Three first downs in the first half for Nebraska. When was the last time you saw that happen? See how Nebraska answers this. Jamal Lord will carry this time. They start at the 20, and boy, did he get stood up. He still forced the play ahead, but you saw his head rock back as Johnson. Help moved in on that tackle. Not a lot of room up the middle against this Texas defense. You got to give a lot of credit to Carl Reese, the defensive coordinator for the Longhorns. His game plan has been beautiful to this point, and he's gotten great work out of his defensive backs coming up on the line of scrimmage. Nebraska, Gary, they're stubborn. They're going to continue to try to establish the run game. See what Nebraska's done in the third. Lord again this is that pitch play the option he carries it himself he'll be shy of the first down Reed Boyd the senior strong side linebacker helping to move in Jamal Lord going with a healthy dose of belly option in the first half of that last play Gary the trap option Lord more apt to cut it up inside on that option scheme. Lord ran the ball 11 times in the first half three yards gain. Another big third down third down and two it'll be carried for the first down and more as he gets it up over the 35 yard line before Michael Huff the strong safety out of Irving Texas got him. So Nebraska gets the first down on a seven yard gain. And I'm not sure the term offensive leaders is appropriate right there. 2.7 yards per carry for Josh Davis. The passing game non-existent with the exception of the 42 yard hookup to Matt Herring. And I think Matt Herring has got to get involved here in the second half. A nice third down conversion on that last play by Jamal Lord. See if they can keep it moving here. 
Jamal Lord, two receivers to the left side, comes back near side, looks deep, going for it all, has the man open at the 30, incomplete, underthrown. That was a touchdown in the making. Michael Griffin was able to get there at the last second. Uh, Jamal Lord makes a huge mistake not getting this ball up a bit earlier, and this ball is severely underthrown. And as we mentioned, he had a couple shots in the first half to hit Harry and didn't pick him up on his radar screen down the middle of the field in the first half, and Harry was wide open. That was six points. This is not a passing offense. It's not how they get it done, but it's how they've got to try and do it here. Another chance lost, second down and 10. Here's the pitch, left 35, and no tackle, just a slip. David Horn, the sophomore, the eye back, he had a little room there, could have picked up some more yardage, just lost his footing. And Jamal Lord, you can't get shaken. Uh, you, you know he's in the huddle, and he's thinking about two plays ago, missing the opportunity to get his team right back in this football game. They control their own destiny in the Northern Division of the Big 12. But Jamal Lord is going to have additional opportunities just by virtue of the way that Texas is playing in their defensive scheme. These defensive backs are flying up and playing the run first. So I just one for five out of the shotgun four wide receivers and another timeout. Nebraska repeatedly this afternoon in offensive chances has had to take a timeout because they haven't liked the look of the defense they come up against. And not a particularly happy head coach, Frank Solich on the far side. Did not have good success on third down conversions in that first half. They were just one out of seven. They need one right here. Resting comfortably, we might add. Evil. It's third down and ten. Nebraska at their own 35-yard line out of the shotgun. Jamal Lord, two receivers to the wide side, near side. He's Sacked. Fumble. No. They said he was down. No fumble. Aileen Thornton came in trying to force the play. The defensive end knocking the football away. And Jamal Lord, we mentioned he's been late getting the football up. He's also been late tucking the football. He had some room to pull the football down, maybe pick up the first down to the left side. Instead, he sticks in the pocket, waits, tries to buy time, and Kalen Thornton, the defensive end, really lays the wood to him in the pocket. Good play by Philip Jager, who also got in there. So there's no conversion there. Larson's got to kick it again. He'll be back at his 15-yard line. Nathan Vassar will be deep. Back at about the 30 for Texas, and the defense gets it done. He's averaging 58.5 in punts so far. It's another good one off. He's gotten the foot into all of them. Back at the 25-yard line. That's it. We'll start it there. They try and set the wall up on the near side. And we'll get back to about the 40-yard line, where Texas will start at first and 10. Chad Buller. After a 48 yard punt, a 15 yard return. ABC Sports presentation of college. Of executing their game plan for this Nebraska defense. Number one, they've taken care of the football, eliminated turnovers, and I think they've done a great job, Gary, handling the Nebraska blitz. Ben Chung will be back in at quarterback. They just power it off the left side. Cedric Benson, who ran so well in that first half. Benson had 13 carries for 65 yards in the first half. Greg Davis, offensive coordinator for Texas, mentioned to us yesterday, we've got to keep those interior linemen for Nebraska nailed down. Don't let them get into the backfield. Don't let them pursue outside. And Texas has done that with a very effective inside running game with Benson. 303 total yards for Texas so far in this game. Benson will keep himself and he'll make the move up over the 35 yard line. Not a lot of running room for Vince Young right there as Pat Ricketts came in and put the hit on. At the conclusion of today's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Gary Thorne, David Nori, and our crew on hand here in Austin, Texas. Where, according to the BC rankings, Texas 22, Nebraska 9, but it's been Texas dominating so far in this game. You see what Young has done, both in the pass and rush department. He'll work up under with one running back. 
Quick drop near side completion short of midfield and short of the first down. Just a quick drop pass Roy Williams on the near side. And never able to turn it around. Again it was Ricketts that came in and got him. Look at the BCS standings that are presented by Allstate. There's the chase David. And there's a number of teams hoping that Miami or Oklahoma will slip up here in November and Florida State USC and Georgia very well poised to pick up the pieces Nebraska very much in it but a loss here today it's a whole new light on that one Richmond McGee is back to do the kicking from the 40 yard line Josh Davis will let this one go and it is in the end zone so it'll be a first and 20 after a 51 yard punt can the Nebraska offense find a way. He had 13 from the line of scrimmage to go for a first down. Not a good decision. I think in, in, in this instance, watch him. Has trouble fielding the snap, but if he just steps up and gets the punt away, there's no pressure. Pressure was redirected behind him. Huge mistake. Texas is doing to Nebraska what Nebraska usually does to opponents. The quick flick, Benson on the far side. Trying to rein him in. Had about three white jerseys in front of him and two on each side. Trevor Johnson, the defensive end, reading that play. Well, Frank Solich has to be concerned. This Nebraska team, you know, they play to their strengths. And they cannot play from behind with their offensive structure effectively. And the only time they've really trailed was in that fourth quarter against Missouri. Their one loss on the season. And, and now they're looking at a two touchdown deficit. Texas knocking on the door again. So second and goal from the 14. Loss of about four. That ball had been spotted inside the 10, obviously, on first down. The fake. A little trip carry. And we'll bring it inside the 10 yard line before Daniel Bullocks is able to put the hit on an eight yard gain. He continues to pile up the offensive yardage. And that's what Vince Young can do. And Daniel Bullocks makes a heroic play making the tackle in the open field and still Vince Young picks up eight yards. Everybody talks about the feet of this youngster and how quick he is and able to react. And you watch him run, you can see why that's a discussion point. Six foot six, 225 pounds. With finesse. And you're looking into the end zone, Young trying to pass it there. Double coverage. Flag is down on the incomplete pass. This flag may go against Nebraska, but Vince Young, uh, it's going to go against Roy Williams. And Vince Young. Needs to learn as a young quarterback. You have a two touchdown lead. You got three points in your back pocket. There's not any room to fit this ball in in the corner. In fact, bad structure by Texas. See the two receivers, Sloan Thomas, Roy Williams, canceling each other out. And I, I didn't see much drop a flag on in that play. Roy Williams, and I think they got to let that contact go. But still, a bad decision by Vince Young. No need That's to take offense. that risk. Against the offense. Penalty is declined. Fourth down. Hell Dowden, the referee with the call. Obviously turned down the penalty, bring up the fourth down and goal from the seven yard line. Vince Young walks over to the sideline and Mac Young, uh, Mac Brown as well, taking a deep breath and saying, I'm glad we got that one back and have the opportunity to attempt the field goal here. Mangum will come on and try and kick it. Already one field goal attempt has been blocked. 0 for 1 here in this one. This will be a 24 yard attempt by Mangum for Texas. Nebraska send their secondary up and over to try and block it. He gets it up this time, and that's through for three. The Mangum with a field goal. Texas able to get points out of it. They extend their lead 17 nothing. It's under Mac Brown here at home. Texas 30 and 3. Trying to add to that with a 17 nothing lead right now over Nebraska. Nebraska doesn't want to get caught in a situation in the fourth quarter where they're having to put the ball in the air on every down. And it makes it so critical that they get a score here in the third quarter. And, and I think the way they are going to get that score, Gary, and I've 
you know been harping on this a bit but I think they've got to stretch the field and get some people downfield for big plays penalize Texas for the style of defense they're playing against the Nebraska run. Let's see if Nebraska with Josh Davis deep can get some field position here. The punt that wasn't in the turnover to Texas converted into three points. Davis again deep in the end zone and again will not be able to run it out. Richmond McGee's been dropping them back deep. So they'll start from the 20 again. Coming up later, time permitting, stay tuned for the thrifty car rental post game report. It's, uh, it's a now and ever for their offense to get going. A couple of wide receivers, David Horn in the backfield. Jamal Lord faked the option. They're trying to go deep, looking for the big bomb play. Couldn't get it. He'll run it up and gain just a couple of yards through all of that. As Wright, Roderick Wright came over and put the hit on. For the first time, we see Texas play a little bit softer at the safety position in the secondary on first down. As Texas stretches the lead to 17 points, you can look from behind Lord. Safety's playing soft, no opportunity to get the ball downfield. As Texas stretches this lead, now they have the luxury of playing softer in the secondary. Lord now 16 rushes, 11 yards gained. The handoff out of the two man backfield will take it up for a first down. Josh Davis, their leading runner. Let's see what's going on with that big rivalry up there around the great hall being faked out. <laughs> Michigan State. Michigan State has just scored. Nebraska just their fifth first, first down. They get a first and ten here. Carried. Now Lord again wanted to go deep and he'll get sacked. That play developed way too slowly for the offense. Cedric Griffin came piling in. Three sacks now picked up by Texas. Aaron Harris was there to help. Yeah, Griffin arrives early. The cornerback number six. But watch Aaron Harris, number two, clean up this play. The pressure from Griffin. And then Aaron Harris blitzing from that middle linebacker position really finishes the play. Texas has made very few mistakes today in their defensive calls. No, they've been right on. And, and now Nebraska really in a 9-1-1 status as the clock ticks down towards the end of this third quarter. And now Lord puts the man in motion, Mark LaFleur. The handoff will gain only. Uh, well, let's see where they're going to spot it on the second effort. Almost back to the original line of scrimmage. David Horn doing the carrying, averaging a little over four yards a game. That was a second effort, and he'd been stopped. But long yardage situation. And usually, Nebraska doesn't have the pressure to make plays in the passing game. From game to game, Nebraska. We look at the rushing breakdown. Usually, Nebraska has success on the ground. Not this afternoon, and it's put additional pressure on Jamal Lord. When Jamal Lord has had opportunities to hit passes, he's missed them. Third down, 15 from the 28th. Jamal Lord back in the pocket, gets rushed, gets away, just winds up and throws it to nobody. That's up for grabs, and it'll be incomplete. Woo, intended for Flewellen, but he wasn't even close to it. Again, let's go back and get an update. It had to be a busted coverage, didn't it? It'll be fourth down, 15 from the 28. Nebraska again forced to punt. Kyle Larson, Nathan Basher back. Basher's back at about the 25-yard line. Larson this time will get the punt off at the 20. Basher 25, 30, 35. Fine run back. To about the 37 before Chad Buller moves in. 16 yard return on a 52 yard punt. Survival Saturday continues tonight. ESPN, a showdown. Two heavyweights of the Big East. Kevin Jones and the Virginia Tech Hokies. Welcome Kellen Winslow Jr. and the Miami Hurricanes. It'll be in Blacksburg. For more information, log on to ESPN.com. Texas is going to go in their way. The score, the calls, and the domination. In the running game, and credit that Texas defense. Just keep in mind the Nebraska rushing is one of the top five in the country coming into this game. Faked it, tries to lob one near side. That'll be incomplete. Vince Young went, looked right, tried to hit Williams coming back near side and overthrow him. 
And it has to be frustrating for this talented group of senior receivers. We talked about the transition, younger quarterbacks. They don't have the pocket passers like Major Apple White and Chris Sims a year ago, and not as many balls to go around. More planned throws, short throws to Roy Williams and B.J. Johnson to get them touches. But I'll tell you what, on the scoreboard, Texas leading 17-0. I don't think these wide receivers care. Vince Young in there at quarterback. High back formation in the pocket, steps near side and overthrows. That's what Matt Brown talked with us about, David, that he's not comfortable doing. He's not comfortable coming back into any kind of a set position, that quick drop back. Yeah, the rhythm passing game, the three step drops, the five step drops, he's not quite, you know, in rhythm and, and comfortable. As you said, Gary, he's much more comfortable. A little contact from Ricketts on Roy Williams after the ball had passed. But, you know, Vince Young on the move is very comfortable as a young passer and, and whether he's on the dead sprint or just moving slightly to either side in the pocket he tends to be very accurate as a passer. He's five for 11 31 yards one interception today out of the shotgun he's going to carry quarterback keeper and up field to about the 42 yard line well short of the first down. And this is going to start a punting situation. Boy, Nebraska almost got a penalty. They had one of their coaches out on the field, way out on the field over there. And that's a big difference in how Texas approaches a third and long situation from a year ago. I mean, a year ago, they dropped Chris Sims back. He'd be looking down the field for B.J. Johnson or Roy Williams. This year, you know, they're comfortable to punt the ball and live to fight another day, especially with a 17-point lead. Corey Ross back on the kick by Richmond McGee. There's a flag down. It'll be touched, fumbled, recovered. Now we got to see what the other flag was at the other end. Texas gets it. Aaron Ross has been spectacular out there in special teams. But what was the penalty behind the play? Texas is going to get the football. Well, Running Aaron, into the kicker. And Aaron Ross comes up with the recovery. He didn't hit the kicking foot, hit the plant foot. And Texas is going to go ahead and have to re kick, I think, here. They were. You've got penalties at both ends. Offsetting. Offsetting penalties. So Mac Brown obviously upset because Texas would have had that football deep in Nebraska territory it's after a good call. recovery. It's a good call though. I mean, you got to protect the punter on his plant foot. Texas lets a big opportunity go by the boards. So Nebraska you get the advantage there. It'll be a re-kick. Will they get the specialty units back out there again? These punters have both had long kicks here. Texas trying to get their people in there. Richmond McGee standing back there and realized didn't have enough people in front of him. He wanted no part of that. He'll be kicking from his own 30. That one down the side at about the 15 yard line and a gain of maybe three on that and again Michael Griffin moving in put the hit on you look back at this great series 1999 Texas overcame a 13 3 deficit Chris Robertson a one yard plunge Major Apple White for the TD Bobby Cavell was able to get it Mike Jones in from the 17 and Texas defeated Nebraska 24 20 would be the only loss of the season suffered. Tenth time these teams have met here today, and Texas again at home with a big lead. Another flag goes down. They did not have the markers in place. It was a false start on the part of Nebraska. Looked like incognito. The left tackle. Cornhusker offense will start first and 15. Mac Brown thought he had a big turnover. Thought he was going to decline the running into the kicker. Blocking infraction, offsetting calls, but still 
has to love his position here. 17 nothing. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter against one of the top 10 teams in the country. Nebraska's running game just totally shut down. Jamal Lord carries that one. Their quarterback has not been able to find room out there. Senline in Austin Senline who's been out for a couple of games with a bad foot getting back in and making the play there. Nebraska nine of 11 possessions have started inside their own 22 but they came into the game where they were averaging their offense starting at the 42 yard line. Total yards and that is utter domination 318 to 71. Fourth best rushing offense in the nation Nebraska the Texas D up to the task. Jamal Lord time running down. Just got that off. Pitch will bring it up for a gain of a couple of yards. Not much running room for Josh Davis again out of Loveland, Colorado. The three year starter is a senior, 5'11, 200 pounder. He's been called on to go wide a little bit. There just hasn't been any room. And again, the wrap on this Texas team. They're soft defensively. Teams have been able to move the ball on the ground. Arkansas controlled. The football game against Texas on the ground. But what a turnaround for Mac Brown and this defense. And offensively, they played with a real physical bent as well in the trenches. Another big third down. Eight to go. Ball in the 21. Lord again back. Again the rush and down he goes. Tripped up by Roderick Wright, who looked like he got his arm and hand in there and just dumped him. Texas has gotten tremendous play from their down linemen this year. Tubbs, Roderick Wright. I mean, that is quickness off the snap of the football and then a very strong left arm to bring Jamal Lord down. Jamal Lord is a big physical quarterback. The 11th time Nebraska has lost the yardage on an offensive play 11 times today. The Texas defense has gotten it done. Larson again back to kick again in the end zone. Vassar's back at about the 40 for Texas. Time to get off a line drive that's going to take a Nebraska bounce. Vassar's got it midfield. And he'll bring it down to about the 46 yard line. And we'll check in here. That's some two years ago, that team was in a, a BCS game, Sugar Bowl against LSU. Not anymore. It has fallen apart. Down to just 10 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Texas taking over. Nebraska territory. Gain of a couple on that as that Ricketts came over and put the hit on Benson again. And we've completed three quarters here in Austin, and it's all Texas. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Hook them horns. They learn it young. The eyes of Texas are upon you, Gary. Part of the 82,000 plus on hand here in the eyes of Texas. Frank Solich has seen enough. His team is getting whipped up front. And the athletic ability of this Texas team, offensively and defensively, has been big. Young back looking into the middle. Caught and inside the 25 yard line, Roy Williams. One of the nation's outstanding receivers, a senior. Could have gone NFL, decided to come back. Not a lot of room for Vince Young to slip this ball in. A little dig route over the middle. Trevor Johnson, zone blitz, defensive end dropping back into the pass coverage. A nice job by Vince Young placing that ball high on Roy Williams. Roy Williams, if you get it in the vicinity, and great hands, it usually will make the catch. 21 yards on that reception for the first and 10. The fake up the middle, near side Williams open. Going to try and run it a little bit. Got up to about the 15, maybe a little shy of that. Uh, consecutive receptions there. Josh Bullock's moved in to put the tackle on Williams. Now Vince Young throwing the football deep in Nebraska territory. And they've had great success on the ground. And now Greg Davis, the offensive coordinator, mixing in some passes, you said, Gary, and, and doing a nice job of it. They trust Vince Young, even with the nightmare that occurred in the first half against Oklahoma, the turnovers. They trust Vince Young to take care of the football coming into this game. He's done a great job. Johnson wide to the left side. A couple of eye backs straight ahead. Not a lot of running room, but enough for a first down. Bill Matthews 
Matthews a junior 6'3 250 fullback short yardage specialist has been in there a couple of times today and gets the first down first and ten and it will be shy of the ten yard line so they can pick up another first here. They would love uh, talking about the coaching staff of Texas to see Young have a chance to throw the football and get more comfortable with it under game conditions. As he continues to develop the passing threat that the run pass mix is going to be you know it's going to be very tough for opposing defensive coordinators. And then backfield Young looking near side that's going to be intercepted at the 20 and up near the 30 yard line Josh Bullock's his eighth interception he leads the nation in that department. So the third turnover by Texas. And Vince Young does not account for the underneath defender. Bullock's great at jumping routes. And with that interception, he takes the national lead. As you said, Gary, eight interceptions, tremendous hands, going to get a lot of votes for first team All-American. And Texas had a shot to put this football game away. New life for Frank Solich and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Two quarterbacks were talking there. Nebraska gets yet another chance. Lord looking deep. Finds a little room in the flats. That's going to be incomplete at the 30 yard line. Picklington, the intended. Let's take a look at our Pacific Life game summary from Austin. And you say Texas in every category Texas, Texas, Texas. Scoring, passing, rushing, and first downs. 230 to 24, the rushing yardage. That's the number that's just unbelievable. Not that Texas can get that many, but that Nebraska would be held at 24. It'll be a second down. Straight near side off the option to the 30. First down. And up to about the 44, and a late flag on the hit out of bounds, maybe. Jigger came over and put that hit on. Here. Close to a tackle. <laughs> yeah, that's holding. Right hold of the jersey and the shoulder pads. Questioning the officials. Frank Solich over there wanting to know what happened. I don't blame Frank. I mean, I'd, I'd, want, I'd want somebody to chew on. The way this game is unfolding but still you know, that turnover and the mistake by Vince Young Nebraska plenty of time. They're trying to put the ball up in the air a little bit. Jamal Lord. He's tried to go deep a couple of times and has missed open receivers on fly patterns and with the exception of that 42 yard hook up to Harry second down nine looking deep again will throw underneath the coverage. Completed near midfield, and in fact, Fluellen able to take that ball into Texas territory. Isaiah Fluellen's come along recently. He's got the best speed, they say, of the receivers out there. He had three receptions, 185 yards coming in. And you watch Cedric Griffin honoring that speed on the outside. Fluellen comes from Germany, and a real threat as. He matures as a young wide receiver in the past game, but he's also been very effective on reverses running the football. Not to midfield. It's at the 46. First down and at 10. Jamal Lord, they reverse it, set the blocking up on the near side, and that will get it into Texas territory. Again, Fluellen, they tried that play before and it did not work. Derek Johnson came over and took him down. Taking a look at the, the numbers for Fluell. And if you play wide receiver at Nebraska, your numbers are never going to be as gaudy as the numbers for wide receivers at the University of Texas, known for their blocking downfield and you know, their big playability. And I think Jamal Lord getting that pass completion a couple plays ago may get him back in rhythm. This is only the second time the bat Nebraska's crossed midfield, and they don't stay there for long. Boy, this Texas defense is into it. Aaron Harris has been there a number of times. He's had an exceptional day from that linebacker spot. Yeah, and Aaron Harris has really picked it up at the middle linebacker position. And it, Longhorns did not get solid play inside from their linebackers early in the season. They've shored up that position, and Aaron Harris has really come on. Another big third down play. 
Texas team trying to get the fans up and into it. It's a third down and four. Timeout will be taken. We'll see what Nebraska decides to do with it when we come back. Nebraska three for 13 in third down conversions. They have another one here. It's third and four at the Texas 48 yard line. This might be four down territory. Lord, two wide receivers right. Pilkington and Fluellen. He'll take it to the near side, look deep. Got another man open and completed at the 10 and a touchdown. They connect on that one. Matt Harrion, who'd had the chance before, picks this one up on a 48 yard reception, and Nebraska's in the game. Matt Harrion is going to victimize Michael Huff, and the coverage is not that bad. But you cannot place the flag route ball any better than that. And that is a beautiful throw from Jamal Lord, and the Huskers are right back in this football game. Makes up with the kick, and it is good. The second touchdown for Harrion, and Nebraska desperately needed one. And desperately got one at 17 7. Harry in two catches for 90 yards and a TD today. That is quiet as the stadium a bit here at the Darrell Royal Texas Memorial Stadium. Big touchdown for Nebraska. Sam Cook comes back to do the kicking. He's been sitting around watching with all the Texas teams were doing offensively. That'll be handled young 10, 20, 25. Fine return, fumble if it goes out of bounds. A 27 yard return. Taking a look back at the touchdown from the end zone view. And to the left of your screen, Harrion's going to split the defense man to man against Huff. And that ball is dropped right over his shoulder. Jamal Lord has missed some big opportunities in the passing game in this. In this over the course of this afternoon, but he did not miss on that play. Benson will be the lone running back. Two receivers set out to the left side. Young comes near side. Line of scrimmage got a carry. He'll be driven out of bounds after a gain of a couple. Well, Vince Young continues in at quarterback for Texas. 11:45 left to go here in the fourth. Texas up by 10. Driven out by Titus Adams. With a 17 0 lead, Texas loosened up their play call. Started putting the ball up in the air and, and down in the red zone on a first down play call. Greg Davis goes with a pass play. And Vince Young, a bad decision. And all of a sudden, this game turns around. Three wide receivers out of the shotgun. Young on the handoff. Benson, he gets tackled. For probably a loss of about a yard. Nebraska trying to get that back. Want to remind you, if time permits, stay tuned. The Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report will be coming up, featuring scores and highlights from across the country on this Survival Saturday. But now Nebraska trying to hold it to a three and out. The play call gets a little bit tighter when the lead shrinks to 10 points. Now all of a sudden, you're a little more hesitant with a redshirt freshman in the game. Whose strength is running the football, a little bit more hesitant to put the ball in the air. Third and 11. And a big third down play right here. Again, back. Caught near the first down marker. It'll depend on the spot here at about the 39. Looks like they got it. Sloan Thomas has been a favorite target today, the senior on that reception. And it is a first down. And a nice job by Vince Young delivering the ball, but. Even a even a better job by Sloan Thomas getting the necessary yards for the first down. Even with the DB breaking on the football, Thomas holds his position. As a quarterback, you count on your wide receivers to get the necessary depth to move the chains. First down and 10, ball spotted at the 40. Out of the eye. Boy, what a battle at midfield! Benson breaking and will be knocked out of bounds. A second and third effort by Cedric Benson. 23 yard gain. Now, Benson is an electrifying runner, and keep an eye on Roy Williams downfield. 
And he's known as a pass catcher, but he wins the battle. And the pad level initially by Cedric Benson. He does not give you a lot to look at as a tackler. And he gets those shoulder pads down, and one of the best inside runners in the college game. Now Texas moving the football again at first and 10. From the 37 of Nebraska. That's a no time to rest. Boy, he runs hard. Rude came on to put the hit on. The Nebraska backer, 78 tackles coming in to lead the team. Cedric Benson with all the great running backs in the history of Texas. A couple Heisman Trophy winners and Ricky Williams and Earl Campbell, but the only running back to go over 1,000 yards in his freshman and sophomore year, Cedric Benson. He brought it down to the 32-yard line where it will bring up a second down and five. The workhorse is at it again. Slips, gets up, moves forward for another gain. His second and third effort's amazing. He slipped out, nobody had hit him, so he was able to keep going. Pretty nice lateral ability flashed here by Cedric Benson. Keeping his feet in the pocket. And it, may, it, it makes a difference between a third and four call coming up and a third and one. He's got 99 yards, Benson does rushing. And 20 carries and a touchdown. Matthews back in. Short yardage man, not this time. Benson, that's a first down. And he moves it down to about the 24. Flags are down as things get a little rough out there. Edwards being pulled out of there by his teammates. Fourth straight carry for Benson, and all of them have been successful. And Brock Edwards is not happy about what was going on in the pile after that play. And if he picks up the 15 yarder, it's a crucial mistake for Texas. You never know. Goes against the Huskers. Mm. And Edwards came off the field and was very enthusiastic. He knew that he had drawn that 15 yarder from a Husker defender. Take a look at our Chevrolet drive summary. It's pretty amazing. The last nine possessions for Nebraska. Look where they have, or Texas rather, look where they have started. Look what they have done with the ball and the number of plays they've been able to run. The yardage picked up. Now it's going to be a first down and 10 with the ball at the 12 yard line. Nebraska's been able to settle it down a little defensively. But right now, Texas is on the move again. Again, Benson at the 10 and inside. Muscles his way up for a couple of yards. Bingham, Ryan Bingham out of Utah. That nose tackle came in to put the hit on. There's nothing more demoralizing than getting back in a football game, cutting the lead to 10 points, and then watching the opposition, Texas, control the ball on the ground. And as a defense, you want to hold serve, get the ball back in the hands of your offense. And Texas not only looking to score, but chewing up huge chunks of clock. Benson has had five straight carries. He's still in there in the backfield on a second down and seven. Ball at the nine. Add another to the five, the four, and inside. Benson is loving this. Again, Bingham put the hit on. When you're a, a running back like Benson, these are the moments you treasure. You want the football. And the line's blocking for you, and you're just charging downfield now up to 110 yards. Well, the offensive line, we saw the flash of Vince Young early in this football game, but the offensive line combined with the inside running to Cedric Benson has been a real storyline in this one. He's out of Midland, Texas, a junior. I think they're going to be hesitant to put the ball in the air, especially after the interception on the last possession. Third down and three. Benson's in the backfield with a football towards the goal line. Touchdown! <laughs> Just label that one the Cedric Benson drive. Seven straight carries. Five yard touchdown ends it. Tremendously satisfying for Mac Brown and 
in this offense to line up and run it, move it down the field on the ground against a Nebraska defense. Langham again will be going for the extra point. And he's got it. Texas kind of at will offensively on that last drive. Right after Nebraska scored, they knew they needed it. Give it to Benson. 24 7. Benson, with his performance today, is now moved into fifth place all time on Texas's career rushing list. You see what Texas did on that one. I mean, they've made it look easy. He has played uh, magnificent football. Yes, sir. That is you. Just a junior. Mm. And Nebraska, just when they thought they were back in it, sees it slip away. McGee back to do the kicking. Josh Davis back at the goal line to receive for Nebraska. As Texas looking to put the second loss of the season on to Nebraska here in Austin, Texas. Davis will be right to step inside the goal line. They need a big play. He'll try and run it out. Gets it only out to the 15 yard line. Reach moved in to help out. So did Melton. Michigan, Michigan State going at it. John. I'd figure to be. How about the comeback by Jeff Smoker, quarterback for Michigan State? Getting it done there. Here, the Longhorns with that 24 7 lead. It has been a very long day for the offense of Nebraska. They will start here first and 10 on their own 15 yard line. Jamal Lord, senior quarterback, working out of the shotgun, going for some big yardage plays, a reception. At about the 17 yard line. Not going to gain much on that as Michael Huff came over and uh, flew Ellen again, the receiver on that right side. They're going to try and hurry it up with 7.06 left to go in the game. And the tackling ability from both safety positions for Texas, a question mark earlier in the season, not today. Or it's going to carry himself. He'll get the first down. Surges forward over the 30 yard line. Giger, Willem Giger moved over. The junior put the hit on there. We want to remind you that Survival Saturday is going to continue next as the undefeated and top ranked Sooners host Oklahoma State. Cowboys out to ruin Oklahoma's national title hopes. If they do so, it'd be for the third straight year. That's coming up next. A first down and 10 with the ball at the 31 yard line. Lord again on the carry himself and fumbled the football flag goes down at the 35 yard line Boyd getting up slowly it's going to be a holding call and Nebraska seeing their tank just emptying out here they've been able to do very little right credit a lot of that to Texas in both ways today offensively and defensively Texas has dominated and this game has been a real eye opener and it's going to open up some eyes across the country you know, there's not many Saturdays when you watch Nebraska line up and just get handled Holding physically on the offense 10 yard penalty still first down Texas has handled them physically in the trenches on both sides of the football and you know, the athletic talent and speed of this Texas team has just been icing on the cake. Nebraska has not had an answer. Mac Brown telling us yesterday, David, he said, if we can get that lead, it's one of the three big things we do in the game because Nebraska is not a team that can come from behind. And they've not been able to. Lord again looking deep down the right side. That will be a first down. Uh, not a first down on the long yardage play. Flewellen again was over. Flewellen's become the favorite target of Lord. Long yardage situation. Well, and man to man coverage outside. He's working against one of the best cornerbacks in the Big 12, Nathan Vasher. It's a solid route. Come back out. And Jamal Lord starting to flash some more ability at quarterback and throwing the football here in the second half. Ability that we did not see in the first half. It's a second down and nine to go. Lord again back. Three receivers out. Lord's under pressure. His receivers trying to get back to helping. And he's just going to throw that to the crowd. And our referee watching very carefully, very close to dropping a flag. Derek Johnson moving in. And the Lord has not had the ability to create in the backfield and buy time. 
And it's a tribute to the speed of this Texas defense. You won't see defenses across the country with much more speed than the Texas Longhorns. Texas D has gotten it done in this game. Do not believe they were ranked overall 76th in the country. They were sixth in pass defense coming in. And they've added sacks to their totals. A third down and nine. Lord again back looking to the far sideline. That will go incomplete. Intended for Perry and again on the far side. And it'll bring up a putting situation. Texas is a man to man defense. And they gamble some. They'll lock up man to man with their talent outside. Nebraska trying to come from behind. Their wide receivers have just been gloved by this Texas secondary. Mac Brown has got to be very happy with the performance of his entire team here in this game. Ninth punt coming up for Nebraska's Kyle Larson. He's kicked the ball well. Vassar again is back. In fact, but for the putting here by Larson in this game, the score could be even higher because he's been able to get Nebraska out of some dangerous field territory situations. Another long, high kick. Taken back at the 12. Asher trying to find a little room avoids one, two tacklers. Met head on and down at the 25 yard line. And I do mean head on. Ira Cooper. Asher with a 13 yard return off the 57 yard punt. Now Texas will come out 521 left to go. They'll want to eat up some of the time on the clock and back out there again at quarterback is going to be Vince Young. And a brief conversation on the sidelines and I'm sure a big part of it was hey let's hold on to the football secure the football no turnovers and let's work on that clock. Things are getting a little. Squeaky out there as another flag goes down after the play. Benson, the carry, be a personal foul. Nebraska, the frustration showing through right now. When Nebraska shows up on the playing field. They expect to dominate you, control you physically. And when they're on the other side of the stick, when they're on the other side of the ledger, doesn't sit real well with the Husker defenders. And, and I think that's been a big part of this after the whistle activity. That'll create a first down first and ten at the forty four yard line. Nebraska is going to suffer their second loss of the season here to Texas barring a miracle comeback. They lost at Missouri the only game they had lost this season. Benson is going to continue to pile up big yardage. He's got a shot at the thirty. He'll be cut down inside the 20. What a day Cedric Benson is having a 39 yard gain both short and long yardage he is eating it up. Now let's freeze it right here and let's look at the seal inside here the blocking and all sorts of room to the outside for Cedric Benson a lot of open field. And watch him try to finish off this run. He's going to try to score. He's not going to dip out of bounds. Tries to cut inside on Ricketts and get to the end zone. His longest run had been 20 yards this year. That's going to be his longest run now, right there. Tuesday players of the game: Matt Harrion from Nebraska and Cedric Benson from Texas. In recognition of their efforts, Chevrolet will make a thousand-dollar contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. One for the running and one for receiving. Benson has carried now on the last nine Texas plays: two touchdowns, 158 yards in 26 carries, and that will be uh, inside the 20. Trying to see how many times Cedric Benson can consecutively carry the football and still get up. <laughs> I don't think there's a finite number on that. And some shock on the Nebraska sideline the way this game has turned out. I guess if there's any solace to it, they still have the showdown with Kansas State on November 15th and still have a very good shot to win the Big 12 North. 
get into that Big 12 championship game in Kansas City. Sure creates some interest in the Big 12, both North and South. Texas hoping to have a shot at it in the South Division. Benson out of the backfield again. A flag goes down. Gets a couple of yards. Up to about the 12 yard line on that one. It'll be a holding call, and this one is going to go against Texas. These two teams battling for just the tenth time last year in Lincoln. Roy Williams, the Texas record 13 catches for 161 yards. Nathan Vasher, an interception off Jamal Lord. Texas snapped the Cornhuskers 26 game home winning streak. They won it 27 24. From 1991 to 1999, Nebraska's only two losses at home were both to Texas. And that football game, that flashback there, Gary, that was the largest crowd in Memorial Stadium history. Chris Sims, a huge game. He had a record 419 yards passing, four touchdowns. A moment ago, Trevor Johnson had gone down the Nebraska <laughs> defensive end. While we were away, he got up, walked off the field. He had a bad knee and was limping off a little bit again. Carried to the left side, not a lot of room there, and down goes Vince Young. Fans upset about what they think are late hits at coming at the 20 yard line. Patrick Cabongo moved in. Vince Young slow getting up. If there's a concern Texas has, it's about how many times he carries and how hard he runs. Well, and, and he was looked like he might have been reaching towards that right shoulder. And it's a way that. The defenders for Nebraska finished off this tackle that upset the crowd. They twist him over backwards after the plays finished and the whistle is blown. Vince Young is going to come out. The booing as the replay was put up on the big scoreboard here. We have not seen Chance Mock out at quarterback here. In the second half, Mock was not taking the normal routine of every third series. Now he's going to come in as Young comes out. Young was tugging at the collar of his shirt, and I think he might have been slammed into the turf shoulder first. That will be carried up to about the 12 yard line. Mock says, Hey, I can do that. The junior quarterback into the game and carrying. There is Young on the sideline. Young has got 14 for 163 rushing a TD and Benson's picked up 162 yards so combine the numbers you've got a couple of big runners one being Vince Young their quarterback. And that should be it for him for the day I would think so no reason at least at this point for him to have to come back in chance mock. This is a fourth down and five with the ball at the 12 yard line. Mock to Benson. Benson wide. First down. Touchdown! <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> a three touchdown day, Cedric Benson. And I really thought a classy move by Mac Brown to run the football there on fourth down. Don't tack on points. And sometimes you can't help but score. The Texas offensive line got the play blocked well on the left side. And how about the day for Cedric Benson? He had 10 touchdowns on the season coming in. He's now got 13. Mangum again out for the extra point. And he's got that one as well. And the Longhorns of Texas putting on a show. Three TDs for Benson. Third time this year, Cedric Benson has had a three touchdown day. And the blocking has been tremendous up front, this offensive line. And he also got some great help outside. The cannon's a little late. But it's better late than never. Handled at the goal line. And up to about the 25 yard line, Josh Davis for Nebraska. Taking a look at the touchdown from the end zone. Watch some of the blocking on the perimeter. We mentioned how tough this offensive line has been, but Bo Scaife, Will Matthews, and then on the outside, the wide receiver, 
B.J. Johnson. And that is great blocking on the perimeter. Cedric Benson has some people to thank over on the bench. And he did. Nebraska gets it first down and uh, 10. Deep in their own territory again. Lord looking over the middle. That's going to be intercepted from the 35 to the 20. Go north, south, east, west. Flags are down the 10, the 5, and a touchdown. Derek Johnson, if it counts. As we said flags down back at about the 15 yard line. Derek Johnson over the middle. Yeah, I think this was a blocking infraction against Texas during the return. Johnson is one of the Butkus semifinalists. Came in with three interceptions on the day. He is a junior, 6'4, 230 pounder out of Waco, Texas. Now we'll pick up number 11 right here and watch him flow to the outside, read the eyes of the quarterback. And that's a nice play on the interception, but how about the return? And you mentioned that Bullocks, the free safety for Nebraska, will get All American consideration. Derek Johnson will as well. So the penalty. Got to move that ball back. About the 30 to move it up rather about the 32 yard line. That's where the first and 10 will come. Butkus award semifinalist. And deservedly so. Nebraska Demario Williams. That's another linebacker semifinalist for that award. Texas trying to run that clock down up to about the 30 yard line. We're down to a minute 16 left to go. Want to remind you coming up next 3:30 Eastern, 2:30. That's been waited for for a number of weeks. It'll be interesting to see if Oklahoma State can still unleash that potent offensive attack against the Sooners defense. Texas has begun the celebrations down on the sideline. The handoff not going to go very far. Albert Hardy, Richard freshman. At fullback. And that's going to do it here in Austin. This Texas team dominating. Cedric Benson with a three touchdown day. Texas's hope is that whatever happened to Vince Young that took him out of there is not serious. 484 yards offensively. And for Nebraska, it's going to be back to the drawing board after this one. the tenth time these teams have met six of the W's have gone to Texas. 31 7 our final ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com search ABC Sports. Stay black and white then we've got